Hey guys, going on Tabo here today. We're gonna be playing some Farming Simulator 2019 here on the Welker Farms map, the good old Welker Farms. It's a good map. Anyway, I went ahead and took out seasons because I sped up time. Crop got withered through the winter. I don't know why it doesn't ever turn, and it's because I let it sink. Even I let it sit here for a couple hours, just thinking, you know, it's not gonna sink. So I let it sink, and it was like day three fall, and it wouldn't sink. Also, the Seneca County map, that last episode was yesterday. Um, that's going to be the last one because apparently when you cut the alfalfa, it actually grows to the growth state. Apparently it is screwed up on that map. I took seasons out, still didn't work. Um, I did take seasons out of this map, and we're going to do haying on here. We're going to be cutting that grass across the thing. That way I don't have to plant alfalfa like on the wind chaser map. kind of sucks, but you know what? It'll be okay because it'll be basically the same thing but we won't have seasons mod so basically here's the plan for the next few videos we have a bunch of cool videos coming up obviously we have a bunch of haying videos um, I'm gonna try and mix a bunch of them in we have some combine and wheat videos we have some probably we might bail some wheat and we have some of these we just have a lot of stuff. We have some new combines on the way. Hint. I'm going to pull a squad and just literally buy like six combines and put it on this field for no reason. And say they're all my neighbors. Yep. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and take this to the field. Now, I believe this header goes six mile an hour. I did modify a 40 foot header to go like eight or nine. Or maybe it was 12. I can't remember. But anyway, we're going to take this down the road. So that's what Welker Farms does, so we'll to copy them, I guess. The only difference is they don't run gleaners, and actually they used to run gleaners up in Montana, but you can't find a whole lot of service because gleaners were like the best combine there was for a long time. And they were ahead of John Deere and ahead of Case, but their service lacked, and that's what got them. So, I'm still a gleaner fan. Um, still today I am. Um, but really, the Gleaner, the R65 is kind of being a pain in the butt. But if we were to get an R72, that would be perfect. I would like to get an R72. The reason being, there's not a lot of electronics on it. There's not a lot of downtime. Yes, you have to control it manually. You have to control the header manually. That, to me, is part of running a combine. You know, I was watching Walker Farms video and Zach millennial farmer I should say um they did a collab video where Zach came out and ran their case for a little bit I don't know how many days they didn't really say but they came out and did that and he calls it millennial mode and so yeah that that you can see why it would do that but anyway millennial mode is everything's auto so auto automatic steering automatic header control and apparently picking corn we do have automatic header control on soybeans because it has to be so low to the ground we do have that what do I have I have oats and how did I get oats in this trailer must not have sold them or did I plant oats I don't remember but anyway we're gonna take this over there too so yeah basically everything's automatically controlled even they had GPS on their quad track. They had um, quad track GPS, which I actually learned something from that video. So on case Pro 700s, or I think there's an 800 now. But anyway, we have the Pro 700. You could set an AB line, and then or wait, it won't work anyway because when you reset it, it won't move. I guess. Because I think the way they set it up is the because they have GPS on their combine, so it copies that same AB line. Or wait, I can set it up for corn though, because I can set it at one point of the field, drive to the other, set B, and then just reset the line and see how it does. I don't know. To me, it really ain't that hard. It's kind of a bigger pain to get GPS set up, it, especially like soybeans. I could see when you're cutting that, you can't tell where you're really at, and wheat. I guess you can kind of tell. You can't really count rows like corn. What we do on corn is we count over six rows and put the tire in the sixth row. And then there you go. Um, actually, it's the fifth row. The sixth row is on the center point of the tractor. 
it's like right there, so there's six rows over from the auger. So that's kind of what we do there. And I'll tell you guys that um, I am actually there is a work in progress video now. I think I've told you guys about it already, but I kind of explained it a little bit in the video. But here's how the next month is going to go. I changed it. Surprise. Um, next month, I'm going to post farming videos. And I'm just going to kind of post a couple clips, like just like short clips and updates. Like, hey, we're moving to this field. We're going to go to this. This is how many acres we have left. Kind of update like that. Um that's kind of what i'm going to be doing and then i'm going to enable membership here it's probably already enabled but i'm going to enable it so that you guys could see updates basically i'm going to do daily updates so i'm going to say hey it rained such and such inches blah 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 all that but you have to sign up for membership so you have to go scroll down and click join and once you click join then you'll be able to see what i post so when harvest starts i'm going to be like okay we're going to start on this many acre field it should take us this much acre, this much time to get done and all that but i am probably should wait till harvest starts but by now harvest should start because i believe this is like the 20 something video i don't really know for sure but yeah so that's kind of my deal there and you get to see real life farming videos when they come out um I'm still going to post regular clips on like the regular channel. They're just not going to be as good, I guess. Um, they're just going to be short, like a minute. I don't even know if I'll do that, honestly. But I am going to go to this membership deal and do that. So if you guys do want to sign up for it, I'm going to be shouting it out throughout this week and throughout all the other videos in the beginning to try and get people to join it. And all that kind of fun stuff. Because that to me is like okay the guys who actually want to see this real life stuff plus it limits it so there's not so many people watching it so it's not just out to the public and everyone you actually have to sign up for it which might hurt it in a way and if it doesn't really kick off much i'll probably just go ahead and just put all the content out there in november but that's my plan for october and then once October's over and farm stuff's all over. I'm still going to do the farming updates. Um, just not really updating stuff, I guess. I will do stuff. I don't know how to explain this. I'm st then I'll go back to farming videos like these videos and just kind of do, you know, regular, like just regular stuff. Like just farming videos in general. Um, maybe like tournament stuff because in december we'll do tournament i it will be probably not out to the public or it might i'll see but that's my plan that's my new plan um for it i'm gonna enable that channel membership deal so if you guys want to join go ahead and join also you support the channel if you do that as well so i can buy a big drone or a new camera I probably should get a new camera but I got my cell phone it's actually really good that's kinda what I've been sticking to is more camera on my phone which works pretty good I have a habit of holding it just a little crooked which is not good but you know what it'll be alright you guys still like the content um yeah so my drone is working I got it working but the only time that it doesn't like to do like it's auto stuff like it's function modes or any of that kind of fun stuff is when you have a uh, shoot what do you call it when you have like trees or a bunch of stuff or power lines or if you're on like a crick where there's low cell reception and no phone data that's when it'll do it too it's kind of not really yeah, that's it sucks. It really does. So you guys won't be able to see that, and I kind of explained that in the video a little bit. But you guys, I don't think that one will go out for membership. Like I said, I haven't decided. It kind of winging it. Um, just if you guys want to find out more, I'll probably post something on the community tab, so you guys can see. 
we're gonna take this to the other side of the field in the video probably so yeah we're gonna get this field cut um seasons wasn't working right like i said in the beginning just i don't know why it's just weird like that we did buy this field and we'll probably buy some haying equipment i don't know what i'm really gonna buy i gotta kind of look at this probably just gonna kind of buy everything maybe buy this um probably buy this setup and hire that worker out and maybe just buy a self-propelled you know just kind of buy everything or buy a self one of these self propelled probably is what i'm gonna do probably buy like three of these or two i don't know probably two buy one of these one of these and just kind of run it in the video this one halfway and this one halfway take a thumbnail of both do it like that probably take a thumbnail here pretty soon with this dumping on the go or something like that and then sneak peek or sneak hearing i guess maybe that's what i'll do i'll do sneak peeks if you guys pay for memberships but yeah spread the word let everyone know anyway hope you guys did enjoy it if you did hit that like button we're gonna make this guy finish this field or get close probably won't finish it like i said we're probably gonna buy another combine but anyway if you did enjoy hit that thumbs up button for me and if you're not subscribed please do subscribe and we'll see you all in the next one